Hey guys, I'm going to make this video really short since I have a bad case of the flu. So we will update you on Bruce Gary's condition after a very serious automobile accident. And David Lane had several good measurements of Tabby Star this week. So we will update you on where currently the long-term light curve is. So Bruce Gary survived a serious car accident on January 11th. Apparently, the other driver passed out while approaching a major five-lane highway from a small side road. And this driver's car went through a stop sign onto traffic where uh, Bruce hit him at 60 miles an hour. And both cars were totaled. Uh, good thing that Bruce was wearing a seat belt and came to a stop with no life-threatening injuries. Bruce does have some soft tissue damage from the seat belt and lots of bruises and constant pain, but he is recovering at home from his trauma. This is a picture of his car after the accident. Notice that the car absorbed a lot of the energy from the crash by collapsing around him, thus probably saving his life. We wish him a speedy recovery. From our last update on January 21st, these are the V-band measurements taken by David Lane over a 26-month time period. And this is the centered 25-day simple moving average light curve. And this is the superimposed best fit curve showing the accelerating long-term dimming for most of this time period and also includes the brightening and then recovering part of the light curve. And these are the statistics we showed in our video dated January 21st. So let's zoom in now and go ahead and add the three data measurements that David Lane was able to take this week. It was really fortunate that he had some good weather. So this is the long-term light curve of how it looked on January 19th. And now let's add the data measurements for January 21st, 25th, and finally January 27th. And this is the best fit curve shown here. The latest point from the centered simple moving average is now exactly at the same level it was just before the start of the brightening event at 11.8555. We can now officially say that Tabby Star has fully recovered from the temporary brightening event and is now headed down into new and lower territory. Since October 20th of 2017 to the present date, Tabby Star has declined by exactly 1%. That is a dimming rate of 0.308% per month currently. Well, guys, we will keep this short. Be sure to wear your seat belts when you travel and take good care of yourselves. We will see you in our next video update.